Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. We've made it to another Friday day. The opportunity to finish the week off right and the opportunity to get into the weekend. Oh yeah, but today, like I mentioned yesterday, we've got a half hour to do about well, 30 minutes on the rowing machine at rate 20 roughly. So I haven't done one of these in a while. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. And this is also quite a different workout to say the 1K I did last week. Very much lower rate, almost half the stroke rate. So we'll see how it goes, but I've been doing a lot of low rate, low intensity, so who knows. But now we're gonna get in the Yam Drover, we're gonna get to the Yam Cave, and we're gonna get to yamming on it on the rowing machine for 30 minutes. Oh you and it's time. And we've made it to the Yam Cave to do the half hour and get some yamming done. So, we're going to try and get the camera set up and ready to go to film the process. The idea today is to see if I can see how, not necessarily how fast I can go out for how long, but to be a bit more ambitious than previous half hours where I tend to, like today isn't for a PB, today is a bit of experimenting. So. For a PB, I would probably go out a little bit slower and then wind it in, but with the training I've been doing and the strength I've been gaining, I should, in theory, be able to hold a faster split than norm or before and hold that for a bit longer. But we'll soon find out and you'll join me on the journey. So let's get to it. Yeah. 
And we've finished the erg. Unfortunately, the camera only does 30 minutes, and I put the GoPro down to record the last sort of few minutes that this camera may have missed. But I recorded the time lapse instead of recording the normal video, so we didn't catch the last sort of minute and a bit of the half hour. But basically, I went woo because it was a PB. Oh yeah! Now we'll get to the chat. That I did when I thought the footage was recorded. So hopefully that does make sense. So let's get to that. And we've finished the half hour. A PB. And for anyone curious, I don't really know what any of those numbers mean relative to what I'm doing, but a PB. So last one at 39.9. I went off at 44, 45, and then wound it in quite a bit. Overrated, well, more overrated. This time, much more consistent. So 21 for a lot of it, but I knew that off the start, the rate was, we were at 24, 25s for. 30 seconds or so, just as excitement wears off. So I knew I had to do at least one five minute at a 20. And then I had the help of the ERG data screen right here that in the last minute, if it's, I think it's above six, 6.30, it'll take over 21. So I knew that I was comfortably within, if I held 21 the last few minutes, that I could still be in the 20s, but that's, some people consider that a bit cheating, but I've made a big improvement from this half hour versus the last one, and the aim is to get more and more in the 20. But a PB, didn't necessarily expect to do said PB, but Charlie had some confidence in me. I did a burst, did a little warm up at 140, and uh, my legs were not tired, but they were stinging quite quickly. So at my in my head, I was thinking, well, if they're stinging in this burst of 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and what are they gonna do in a half hour? And so for the first 10 minutes, I was questioned, maybe like around 10 minutes. It's like, this has to, the, the legs have to calm down a bit. It's getting, it's getting quite sore, but around 12 minutes or so, my body caught up and it didn't get any worse. And if anything, the legs got less painful as the heart rate climbed, which is probably a bit of science in there somewhere. But as you saw, probably heart rate monitor came off because around, around 10 minutes left, it was it decided to read zero. So usually I have I have it there to remind me, okay, say it's 10 beats off the max, I've got room to push, or say it's close to max, then I've not got much room, just have to hold on. But it was at zero, so I had about 200 beats to play with. So took it off, probably distracted me for a couple of minutes, got a distraction off the legs, which might have been a good thing. And then went home with some encouragement from Charlie to finish off with a PB. So that's a PB by 51 meters, which I'm very happy about. And now after that session- And in the middle of a big block. And in the middle of a big block as well. So that's pretty good. So like, what I also thought about was, my le I've said this before, in the weights room, we've been doing a lot of legs, and and the legs in the weights room almost hurt more than they do on the erg. So it's almost like, well, I've experienced worst pain in the legs, so I can keep on pushing until, at the very least, it gets to that level. And even if it did get to that level, I know that I've been at that level and pushed through it. So there's that part of it. Plus, I think I've gained quite a bit of strength over the last few weeks in the 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 adjustment of the program and the difference of the program, so the lower intensity cardio plus the higher intensity weights, rather than the high intensity ergs and the low intensity weights. But really good progress, very like amazing progress, and also obviously I want to thank you, the Yam Squad, for the support as always. 
wouldn't be able to push an extra 50 meters out on this half hour without you guys whether it's in the comments dms whatever it is it really it doesn't go amiss is that the right word but now as always it's time to fuel up because remember food is fuel and as always yam squad remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>